Hey guys, in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a parallax effect in Adobe After Effects using a still image. This effect gives your image a cool 3D-like movement, making it look dynamic and more cinematic. Let's jump straight into the video. Open your image in Photoshop. In Photoshop, use the pen tool or quick selection tool to cut out different parts of your image. For example, the subject, foreground elements, and background. Save each part and layer as a separate PNG or a PSD with layers intact. Go to After Effects. Import your Photoshop file onto your timeline. Make sure the background is below the foreground in the layer order. Now, Enable 3D layer by clicking the small 3D cube icon next to the layer name. Select the camera tool from the top or go to layer then new then camera. Choose the two node camera type and set the preset to 35 millimeters, then click OK. Now we can move the camera to create depth. In the composition panel, change the layout to two views. Set one view to active camera and the other to top view. Move the background layer far back along the Z axis then press us to reveal the scale property and scale it up. Position the foreground layer between the subject layer and the background layer and scale it up as well. Select the subject layer, press P to reveal the position property and click the stopwatch to create a keyframe. Move the playhead forward in the timeline and adjust the Z position to move the subject closer to the camera. Now select the foreground layer, click the stopwatch next to position to create a keyframe. Move the playhead forward and adjust the Z position to move it away from the camera. This creates depth by animating each layer's position in 3D space, contributing to the parallax effect. Click on the camera layer and press P to reveal the position property. Move the playhead to the start of the timeline and click the stopwatch to set a keyframe. Then move the playhead forward and slightly adjust the camera's position. For example, move the Z position to zoom in or out slowly. You can also adjust the X or Y position to add horizontal or vertical motion. Now, let's add depth of field for a more cinematic look. For that, select your camera, then go to its settings and turn on depth of field. Adjust aperture and focus distance until you get the desired blur effect on background or foreground. Bonus tip, you can use the same technique with video stills or frame grab moments to create animated slideshows or cinematic intros. Scan this QR code to connect with Novella Film Academy, learn video editing graphic design work at Professional Editing Services. And that's it. Let us know what you'd like to see next. Drop your suggestions in the comments below. Subscribe to Novella Film Academy for more such videos.